First up in the news, we have John Zerka and Hillmog. Now, both of these streamers got permanently banned from Kick following their recent stream on June the 9th, where they were observed streaming alongside what allegedly appeared to be a couple of teenagers. During the stream, the duo even seemed to engage intimately with them, which is a blatant violation of Kick's safety policies and terms of service. Oh, oh. Like you. Yeah. Fake ID, good. Good. I didn't even know they made those. Even who gives a fuck you? Are losers? Kill you. Some girl you on. They say she loser. said she was 18, but people found out she's in high school and he was kissing her and shit on stream, and now he's a PDF file. Brother, brother. Both the streamers were banned soon after the controversial incident. Jake tweeted out, Kick has permanently banned both streamers, Hillmog and Zerka, following a series of controversial events over the past year. The decision has been told it will be irreversible. Fellow Twitch streamer XQC reacted to the events disgusted by what he's seen by both streamers and couldn't watch anymore. XQC gives his thoughts on Hillmog and Zerka being sexual with minors on stream and claiming the girls lied. It's not that hard bro, if things are weird and you have to check the person, don't bother, especially at your age. Here is XQC's full reaction. Done before? Dude, uh, yeah. Can I gamble? No. You can't do anything if you're not 20. The Alright, bro. I, I'm over watching this. I'm done. I'm done. I'm, I'm over it. I mean, I mean they're banned good riddance. Whatever, man. Holy I'm, I'm done with this shit. Dude, it's not that hard, brother. If, you, if you're in that zone where, like, you think you have to ID and, oh my, and is this whole vibe? You probably shouldn't even be around these people, brother. Especially when you're way at, at that age, brother. If you're, if the, if things seem close, seem like you, you should double check. Just don't bother. Heel Mike responds to the controversy in the following: Last night we got set up by a trusted worker of mine. This is me kicking out the girls. Secret recording. She wanted fame so bad that she tried taking us down for it. They are both snakes, nasty and evil women. Told you we are innocent, you stupid Fs. Here is the secret recording provided by Heel Mike. I didn't even know I thought could get I wouldn't have Swear on the Bible and God. On the swear on, the on your no, swear on your mother, on mother, your dad, your whole family, dad, your whole family. Look at me. Your whole family dies if you don't say, if you lie. Are you, you're above 18. I'm above 18 on my whole family. Swear to God. I swear to God. Abby, you have been I friends with her? I swear to God, I would not friends? bring this to you. I swear to God, on my family, on my dog, on my job, I would not bring you an underage. So I trust you because, you know, you're respected in the industry. You work for Fresh and Fit. You bring, you know, you bring bitches. You do other things. You, you're a respected person. I don't think you would ever bring us a 16-year-old girl to set us up. No, like, I swear, I, I wouldn't. And you swear to God, she's I above 18. I swear to God, I swear on my job, I swear on my family, I swear on everything. I wouldn't bring this to you. Okay. Bro, people DM'd her dad, who confirmed she's 16, laugh my ass off. This guy is going to get arrested soon. Trimax TV says that a channel points feature is coming to kick. Or, uh, I, oh, I will say this. I don't know who's listening here, any streamers listening. I've been pushing very hard, like, to a level of harassment to uh, get channel points done. At this point, I don't think we give a f if it's ugly and half-ass dog, right? If we can just get some variance of it, something, just to start getting viewers to be able to track their watch time, track how much, how many points they have, be able to predict shit, right? I've been pressing that for a long time. Your Rage has been asking me for a long time, so shout out to Your Rage as well for, you know, pushing me to push them. I've impressed them probably like once a week, maybe twice, twice, twice a month, three times a month. Finally, something is in progress. Okay, it is in the making. It's like halfway through. Okay, I told them at this point we don't even care if it's a scuffed version of it. Drop a scuffed version, we can perfect it over time. I mean, copying the good features from a successful competitor is just a smart business decision. Why wouldn't they take what works from other sites? Okay, but it's also lazy and not creative. Kick by copying won't do better than Twitch. They will go even. They need to do something that makes them unique to actually be competitive with Twitch. While the website isn't an art project, instead it's a business meant to fulfill a use case. Being creative isn't necessarily. Instead, making the best site with the best features is 
is a priority. Also doing more things with less effort is smart as well. Of course they should be lazy. They want better features with less effort. If the use case for Kick is to be a standalone streaming platform, then it should be most definitely be visually appealing to the users to stay engaged with the website. If the use case is to promote steak, which the owners and the streamers of Kick deny, then sure it's probably not worth to spend the resources on Kick to look pretty.